Orthographic projection, orthographic projection, orthographic projection. Is that what you want to learn? Then you are definitely on the right channel. Please, before before diving into our main study, I want to ask you for a favor. Please subscribe. If you don't subscribe, how do I get motivated to create content like this for you guys? Please subscribe. So I'm going to give you guys five seconds to tap that subscribe button. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for subscribing and I trust and I believe that you have subscribed. So having subscribed, let's, let's learn together. To do this, I'm working with two kinds of pencil. My five my 5B pencil, okay? This one and my HB pencil. Look at it here. HB 5B. 5B is kind of close, 5B. Of course, my compass pencil is a HB pencil, okay? Alright, then what I'll do is I'll have to draw two horizontal, two vertical. Equal distance. Now move a little distance. With this I'll just cut a little. Just the same distance I kept here, okay? Okay, so having done this, I have this okay. Now I'll go on with my HB pencil. I will use this to draw, and then after I'm drawing, I'm gonna use this to thicken it, okay? Alright, this is first angle. I'm placing front side top. Okay, now the arrow of this diagram is this place. Okay, so we're looking at it from this direction. Okay, now we're placing the front view here. This is the front view. If you look at it from this direction, this you will see this part here. Okay, and you see just this part here. All these parts you will not see them here. Here at the front view. Alright, so let's start by drawing this. Now, if you look at this, this is a very large scale. One one zero. It's too, too big. It's not contained here. Let me scale it. Now, I will use a scale of scale is 1 is to 2. That is, anything I have here, I'm dividing it by 2. So, if I have 110 divided by 2, I'll have 55. So, I'll come here, this straight line down here, on this line. From here, my 55. I'll mark. Okay. Now I've done it. Now from this part here, I went up 25. 25. If I scale it, that is divided by 2, I'll have 12.5. So from here, go 12.5. This is 10, 11, 12, 12.5. All right. Here I'm having 40. Which if I scale it, it will have to be given 20 divided by 2. So I'll go with 20 here. Now mark that point. Okay. No, for me, I, I don't know how the angle of this land because we're not giving the angle of this land. So I will stop here. I'll continue from this part, okay? Now I'm coming this way to 60. Sorry, it was not giving, so it was not um, drawing here. So it was not giving him drawing, but that's actually measurement here from here to here. Try 60. So if I, if I divide, let me just put the 16. If I divide this 60 by 2, which is the scaling, I'm going to have 30. So let me the my ruler, okay? Paint first. Now draw thirty. Thirty. <laughs> Having done that, start this part here, and then come and join it down. Now this part here, okay, is on top. This one is on top. It, okay. That is is this part is on top. This part here. So this length here is forty. But they did not give us the distance here. Now look. If this is 60 total length. I had to hear it's 40. What to be here and here? 60 minus 40 will give you 20. If I divide that 20 by 2, I'm gonna have 10, 10. Such that you have 10 plus 40, 50, so not 10, 60. I hope it's clear. Alright. So here is 10, 10 each. So I'll be going that 10. Now I'm gonna scale it to give me 0 0.5. So from here I'll be going. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Alright. Now at that point, at this point, now I'm going up for how many? 30. Scaling this, I will have 15 millimeters, mind you. Okay. 15, that's 1.5 cm. 15 here to. Yeah. 
and I'll join. So technically, we are actually done with the front view. Zoom elongation, okay. Now watch. This is actually the secret about it. Once you just draw the front view, please elongate it to the side, to the side and to the top, okay. Now look, it makes the drawing much more easier. I'm gonna bring this down. Please straight line, please. Bring this part so down. Very faint. I'm also gonna bring it to the side too. Side, side, and this part there. Same. Now, if this is the front view, where's the side view? This is that part here, okay? So on the side view, I'm having this here. I'm also having this because you know it's slanted, so I'll see this part of it from the side view. And then I'm going to see this part here. And let's put it in the drawing. I start with this. This is 60, okay? Scaling is about having 30. Okay, I'll be having 30. So I'll mark that point 30. <laughs> In 30, I'm going up 25. Okay. If I scale that 25 now, I'm going to have 12.5. Now, I don't need to measure because this 12.5 is, is also the same thing. This length and here is the same thing. And same thing with the side view, okay? So I'm going to just trace this line here. This point here. Automatically, here, 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 here will give you 1.5. I mean 12.5. So I'm just taking it. points here okay and now join it all right now you see the difference between 5 pencil and hb is that very thick all right so having done that now this slanted owner will also follow this slanty part here this length is always 60 okay only the distance here so it will be just be the height like this and imagine I something here okay mm -hmm. so which is I'll trace this up part to it and bring it this way okay all right now let's do this this part here remember how i told you guys 40 here is 60 okay let me say it'll be 10 10 if i scale it it will be 5 5 so i'll go 0.5 from here 0.5 now i don't need to measure the height okay because i already have the height here and i don't get this part so i'll join into this height All right. So having done this, we're not done, no. We're almost done. We're done with the front view and the side view. And let's draw the top view. That's the view from on top. Okay. Now to do that, I want to elongate and transfer all my measurements from this part to the front view. How will I do that? First of all, with my HG pencil, I will elongate all these points to this last line here. All right. Having done that, I'll get my my compass, okay, and I'll pin it here. Pin it here. First of all, bring it to this first part here, okay, this one here. Bring it here, and then I'll prolong it, okay. Go to the next one here. And the next line here. And I'll elongate or um, draw my arc for seven. Then to the last one, that was quite small. I'll get my mixer rule and draw some straight line from all these points. Straight. Straight. And straight. Man, looking at this thing, I've already seen my top view. Okay, as this part here and this part here. Now look, 
top view. This part, this part. No, it's this also a base here, and then this one is on top. So one, two, three. Now, this is sixty. I, I don't know the length here. The length here is supposed to be same size length here. Okay. Sixty length. Uh huh. Without measuring, I just know that here already is my sixty. If I scale it, it's going to be thirty, and then the third length to this part here. Sorry. From here, from from the edge, sixty total length to here, bring it down. Because we're following the slant part here. So I'll do that with my H five A pencil. I'll just thicken it. Okay. Now let's do that for this one. This part is sixty. Here's also sixty. Okay. Which is this part here, this part. So I follow it down. See, that is the advantage of elongating. Okay. Now this square in the middle. Okay. Okay, square in the middle. I don't need to waste my time and start uh, measuring. I just look at this. The square in the middle already. I'm just sticking it. Yes, guys. So we are done. This is definitely how the first angle is a projection. Now let's go ahead and dimension it. So, guys, basically this is how it looks like after dimensioning. So that's it for today's class, guys. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.